Ban pensyai sikpa iba halor kimat trikam jongko seng kongres ladakan wan hakebor Uba Vincent H. Palau beri presiden jongko Meghalaya Pradesh Kongres Komiti Hende kesengi hapakiran haki lat patai kubor Ulong baka parti Nalor kipa bun ba akikam kipa di banle Naga menta ke bit ke biang jong kipa iba kajela Kisan teli kimat trikam kipa hakmat e jongko parti kongres Kikentuk ia kejing pen bahaya ketenat boarding Ban lightnya kejing lip light makak ha Bat kejing bom don kamsu ban bu ia kalut shading Ban tau kerpang ya ki an, bat ki polisi nak ke bentar ke yuk kam yuk jam, bat ke tung kam tung jam miki kon samla. Nang ta menuan rak ya ke an, ya bakalan nyah lor ke jeng pun kubor ki kentai lan iki long kemi. Nang ta ban tek lakam bat ban yang persyak ya ke jeng pun kam yuk drogs, namar ke jeng jod jong ke jeng im jong ki pebun ki kon samla, bat ke jeng mi ki kam seniung ki ban lai po jaj, lai po rukom, haba ki pun kam yuk drogs. Kamat ke bakong san e jong ke parti, kalong ban rat ding kong ya ke bam sap bam pong, ke balak tak ya ke jela barok ke wai. Bat kejeng duk ke bakrau jeng kipai ba nong seng senong kejela Namar kejeng jur pelat jeng ke bamsap hapok kejela Youth, we have almost 60% of population are youth And these youths are in a big challenge now When we go door to door, we find that many of the parents used to cry when we visit them When we say that what we want, they said no, my son is in jail Or my son is giving a problem to us, why? Because of the drugs Meghalaya is one of the, now is the biggest problem in India, next to Punjab last time. So, but Meghalaya is increasing day to day in terms of drugs. Drugs in the sense that drugs are used, including alcoholic and others. We don't have enough rehabilitation center, but we keep on pumping alcohol, we keep on pumping retail outlet, we keep on pumping more and more by store. And also the Meghalaya is a, uh, like almost a center for drugs coming from Bangladesh, drugs from, from different parts of our border in, in, in India. For example, like from Nepal, from other countries, they come to Meghalaya, and from Meghalaya then it goes everywhere. Even sometimes from Bangladesh because of our por porous uh, uh, border issues. So this is a problem we have to see. We decided that uh, uh, when the, we went door to door, then the people, one of the main important is that the drugs will spoil not only the present generation, but it spoil the future generation. It spoil our society, it spoil the family, not only a man who's been drugs addicts, but also to the entire family and the future. So we should, we decided we should have a drug-free Megalia. If we want our future to grow, if we want our uh, children to grow be better, then we should have a drug-free Megalia. Unemployment is uh, very high in our state. And even those who are employed did not get payment. So some are, you know, from our youth, uh, from come from a very poor family, they have done their study, and then after their uh, study, they, um, the parents have spent a lot of money on the youth, whereas they don't get the job. So it's, they have become poor because number one, they come from a poor family. Number three is that after spending on their children, they become poorer and poorer, and they don't get the job. So the expectations uh, and the expectations of every family is that they should educate their children and get a job. So we thought it's very serious for our society. If our society wants to be strong, then we need to, uh, to design to see that every family there must be at least one, one job to be provided for every family. So we thought that uh, that's why we said unemployment, at least a job for every family members a job for every family members so that our people will be will be up to the market where we can have a free unemployment. Number three, we have seen that the corruption in Meghalaya is become day to day is become more and more. Now the corruption has gone not only at the officers level, it has gone to a politicians level. Now slowly slowly it will go up to the voters level. The present scenario, the present system is that you know, the, the voters are being bribed. The uh, candidates from one party shifted to other parties. And uh, even the MLAs have been shifted from one party to another party. This is all because of the corruptions. People do not think for the society. The leaders do not think for their state. They don't think for society. They think for the personal. So if you think for the personal, where and which directions it takes our state in the future and our society. So we think that our top priority also to see that we have Meghalaya free from corruptions. So our third door-to-door -door campaign, we saw that many of the poor family, they don't have money even to pay for the electricity bill. 
And many of them, when you go, the students uh, during exam, they cannot study because they don't have electricity. And the bill for electricity sometimes it comes in bulk. For three, four years, no, the bill did not come. Suddenly the bill come, and they do not pay. And they could not pay the bill. So we think the government is responsible to design to see that you know, a family like those has to be assisted and helped by the government. So this is very important for us. So we thought that uh, uh, we should have a power generation where we have enough power. So we committed that we must have a power cut free. For that, Meghalaya requires at least 180 crores units every year, whereas our production is 120 crores. So almost 60 crores unit in a year we are shorted. So we decided, we, we have we, we committed that we should generate at least minimum 500 megawatts within five years in our program. That's why to have a power cut free, we must have also the resources in our hand. Mekale has the, the capacity to produce up to 3,000 megawatts. So all these are left untouched. So we have enough rivers, we have enough sunlight, we have enough coal, so we can do uh, from uh, different different resources to produce power. So once we have the power in the hand, so we don't have to pay all those bills from NEPCO and other states, we don't have to buy them. The only way is that we have to invest in infrastructure, not only to give the power, but also to give employment to our youth. Because uh, like Lechka project has given more than 4,000 engineers and so many people have been employed in a different, different capacity. Therefore, we decided that we should launch as a mission and one of our five-star commitment is power cut free.